Hello YouTube, uh, this is the second video I'm posting today, back to back with the Red Dead Redemption review. So anyway, this video is games I bought in July, and I haven't done a games, games I bought video in a while because I haven't really got too many games in the past month, but I thought I should do July because I did get a fair amount of games that month, including one big thing. So, let me get started. I did, okay, I'll just start with the big thing. So, I did buy the new, uh, as you definitely have probably have seen in my previous videos, I did buy the uh, new Xbox 360, 250 gigabytes, and uh, I think it's really great. Um, wireless is great. It's better than when I was using my Ethernet with my Mac, and it's just really go good. The 250 gig hard drives, nice and roomy and all that stuff. Um, only annoying thing is you have to buy the $20 converter cable. That's really the only downside to it. But anyway, so yeah, I got that. Next, I got Aliens vs. Predator, which I don't really like it that much. I kind of really got it because one of my friends said he was going to get it, and now he's saying he's not going to get it. So I am i don't know if I'm going to hold on to this one because uh, it says 2 to 18 players online. I haven't played the campaign at all. I, I don't plan on it. Um, 2 to 18 players online, really no one even plays it online. I, I usually don't get in a lobby with more than 3 or 4 people, including me, so it's not that great of a game. I would not recommend picking that one up. Next is a game I absolutely hate, but I got it for GameStop for free, so, you know, I might as well hold on to it because I got it for free, but yeah, and that's... Uh, WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Don't buy this game. It's boring, and I've never even played it. My brothers played it once, though, with their friends when they were over, but yeah. And then my, uh, I have three, um, Xbox Live Arcade games I got. One was Limbo, which I beat, which was really good. I would definitely recommend picking that one up, uh, downloading it. It's, uh, uh, 1200 Microsoft points or 15 bucks. Um, uh, it's definitely worth the money. It's, it's a quick game. It took me about three, four hours to beat. Some of the puzzles are a bit annoying because it takes a while to get through. But once you get through them, it's satisfying and stuff. And I thought the ending was really, really good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I also got Snoopy Flying Ace because I, I had an extra 800 points just kind of laying around and uh, I said, what the heck, so I downloaded it, and it's pretty good, uh, it's kind of more of a time waster, to, uh, time killer game to me, it's so, like, if I'm bored, I'll probably just pick it up, play it for maybe, like, half hour, or something like that, just to kill time, but, uh, I don't know, if, pick it up if you, it's, if you want to, download the trial, but, uh, yeah, and the last one is, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which I think is a lot of fun. Uh, I'm a bit, I've become a big fan of fighter games, fighting games. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the third one coming out next year. I think in March. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah. Um, so this one's really fun. Haven't played too much of it. Uh, Evan stopped peeking through the door. Um, Sorry, uh, so, yeah, uh, the, I'm not that great at it, so when you go play online, it's kind of annoying, because these guys are, like, just destroying you. I haven't won one online match so far, and there's an achievement, winning 50, on, 50 online matches in, like, 100 or something. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get that. I don't have any achievements for it right now, but, yeah. And also, Limbo, a good thing if you're a gamer score person, which I kind of am, uh, once you beat Limbo, you get a hundred gamer score just for beating the game, which I think is pretty cool, and then you get like five gamer score for these little eggs you can find, and they're kind of hard to find, I've been going to IGN, uh, strategize to find them, they've been pretty good, um, and then there's one I don't think I'm ever going to get, it's, uh, go through the entire game in one sitting with getting five or less deaths. And that's 10 points. I, I I don't know. That's a little too little for 10. It's a little 
too little points for such a big achievement, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, and I'm starting a new thing uh, called Sub Me, Sub Me of the Week, or Sub Me of the Video. And uh, so this video's Sub Me is because I did do, I was going to do this in the Red Dead Redemption video, but Sub Me if you have beat Red Dead Redemption. And then what I will be doing is every time I get hundred subscribers, which could take a while, I'm going to give away three, uh, like, gift cards. One $20, uh, Xbox Live points, then the, uh, $20 PS3 one, and then, like, a $20 or $15 iTunes card. So, yeah, uh, pick, uh, three random subscribers, and, yeah, so, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.